This is the pipe cowl. This is a useful piece of kit. As you can see, it's a solder ring fitting, and that can be used on the end of the copper pipe that comes from the pressure relief valve on the boiler. That means that you can make the job look a lot neater, and it can also speed up installation time. On the outside of the property, you are going to have to enlarge the hole slightly. That needs enlarging to about 20 mil for the fitting to fit in. I'm now going to solder this to the end of the copper pipe. I'm then going to push it through the wall. I'll connect it up to the pressure test rig and we'll just pump a bit of water through it and you can see just how this works. If I was going to have a boiler installed then I have the option of having this sticking out of the wall instead of a couple of bent elbows and a piece of pipe. I would definitely choose one of these although they are a little bit more expensive. So that's the piece of pipe. I'm just going to clean the end using a piece of scotch bright pad. You may also want to clean inside of the fitting. Then just going to apply some flux to that. And I'm going to push that on there as far as it will go with a twisting motion. If you're not familiar with soldering fittings, these actually have the solder already applied in that ring port there. I'm now going to wipe off any of the excess flux. And then I'm just going to apply some heat to the end of that using the blowtorch until the solder melts. We're now just going to give that a couple of minutes to cool down. We can now push this through the hole and what you would do normally is join that up to the relief valve on the boiler. In this example we're just going to connect it up to the pressure test rig. I'm then going to give that a few pumps and that will simulate the relief valve opening on the boiler. As you can see any of the water that is expelled by the relief valve is safely directed against the wall. I think you'll agree that's a neat piece of kit and it does look much better than two elbows and the piece of pipe. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.